Hi everyone, hi, welcome, welcome to another video. Roger Pye for the older generation, us people that have got children and grandchildren at school doing tech. Um, I don't know if you can remember the last video we did the touch uh, sensor monitor, uh, module. Uh, today we're going to do the IR obstacle avoidance sensor. Now, what I'm trying to do is cover all the modules and sensors that were not on the Freenove project board. So that's what we're going to be doing. That's what we're going to be doing. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at this IR obstacle avoidance sensor. Now, don't forget all these sensors, etc. Now, where is it? You can get from some founder, and I've got a link below, so just to remind you. So here it is. It's a simple little module. It's a simple little module. Um, and oh, let's get it to focus. It's only got three pins. And like on, I don't know if you remember the uh, PIR, PIR uh, sensor. You can adjust the sensitivity by putting a screwdriver in here and turn it left. All right, okay. I have mine about in the middle to start off with, and then we can change it around. All right. So basically, that's all we need is that and some uh, jumper wires. Yeah, and some jumper wires. Shall we put this together? And uh, let me go to this view so you can see the schematic. All right. There's not a lot uh, to it. It's a 3.3 volt module. So we'll be using my bottom rail. All right, so what I'll do, just like the uh, schematic, I'll put that in there, just like that. Just like that, Tommy Cooper. <laughs> Let me get a blue wire. A black wire. And a red wire, because that's the colors we need. Bear with me, just while I get these jumper cables. Okay, so, as you can see from the uh, schematic, the right hand side is the OUT out. So I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to take that to GPIO 17 on our extension cable. It's the one just below the ground. So I've got my ground going to ground on the rail. OK, so that's the first one. Why have I put black? I want a blue. Let's change that. Let's stick with the colour scheme. Sorry about that, guys and gals. Uh, we'll plug that in there. The next along is the black. So we go from black. And I'm going to go to ground. All right, I'm not going to go. I'm, I'm going to stay to the left of the uh, trench. And the third one, which is our 3.3 volts. And I'll take that to the 3.3 volts. Did you see the uh, little green light come on? Yeah. So we know that's active. Right. And as you can see already, if I put my uh, fingers up to it, you can see that it go bright, dark. There's a, a left hand light, green light. Right. Okay. Simple enough. Simple enough. So. We might as well get on with the uh, configuration. The configuration. So let's go to instruction. There we go. And let's open our Thony. Okay, let's open Thony. Right, got our Thony open. So, file. Open. We're going to open our template is and we're going to okay that right and we're going to go file save as let me just see what we'll call this i'm going to call it um same as what they've got here i suppose so it's capital ir small r and then obstacle. Is that how you spell obstacle? No, it's not. 
ob the obstacle obstacle dot py don't forget the py extension all right okay otherwise it won't work and we'll okay that right now this is a simple little code that shouldn't take us too long shouldn't take us too long at all so now we've got some experience um of our functions this as you know this is a function because a function is the always followed by brackets on brackets off just to let you know right so first of all import rpi.gpio as gpio and input time now our next attribute is going to have to name our pin same as anything else we've got to name our pin and say which pin it's on so i'm going to call mine ob the call capital p on the pin obstacle pin space equals and we've got that on 17 yeah right now we're going to go to our setup dev setup and what's the first thing we're going to do on our setup remember after colons auto indent yeah gpio set mode yeah oh let me move this out of the way brackets on and it's uh gpio dot bcm brackets off because we're using the extension all right next now we need to do our gpio dot setup as normal gpio dot setup brackets on and it's going to be obstacle I have to keep checking that obstacle. Does that look right? Obstacle. Yep. Pin capital P on the end, comma, GPIO dot in. Because it's an input. All right. Capital in on I on the N, I N brackets. Now we've got to do our pull up down resistor internal. underscore down equals gpio dot pud pull up down underscore up all right we've done that before all right we've done that before now we're going to come down to our while loop. That's all we need there. Let me just tidy this up a bit. Okay. Backspace. So start right at the beginning. While true, true is always true. Enter auto indent if brackets on zero space equals equals space gpio dot input yeah brackets obstacle pin yeah brackets off brackets off colons right we're now going to say if this is at zero, we want you to print. Brackets on. You can use full quotes or half quotes. Detected. Barrier. Now, if you've used full quotes, looks like I can't spell. I E R.
What have I do? <laughs> My spelling today. Barrier. Now, if you use full quotes at the beginning, you've got to use full quotes at the end. But you can use half quotes. Okay? You can use half quotes. And what they've done here, they put an exclamation mark. All right. And then it's brackets off. All right. Just check this. And then enter. Then we want time dot sleep. Yeah. And um, we we'll do that for one second. Right? Simple, simple, simple so far. And now, let me come down to our destroy. I said it was a simple little program. I'm trying to wonder why that's like that. Okay. Destroy. So, we want our GPIO dot clean up release our uh, pins yeah and we come down to here you can take this out or you can leave it in it's uh it's not a problem then it's uh this line as normal then it's set up try it, and it is loop we don't have to change it to main and it's destroy all right simple little program Save it. Okay. Now, if I've got any errors, obstacle. Already, I've seen that. A two E's. Just checking I'll spell obstacle. Obstacle. As long as it's spelled the same all the way through, O B. S T A C L E, yeah. Go. Right. Shall we try it? Shall we try and run it? Line nine. Seen it already. Capital P on the pin. Yeah. Save that. Do a couple of control C to get out the program and let's run it again. Barrier detected. Must have something near it. What have I got near it? Right. Let's try it again. Run the program. Got to be these wires or so. If I've got it too sensitive, do you reckon? I'll see. Yeah, I think you could have got these wires near it. Or I'm going to turn the sensitivity down a bit. Let me try that. Let's try that. Let me try that again. I think it's because I've got these cables. Let me just let me just show you. These cables, I think. Let me try to turn the sensitivity down a bit more. This might work now. Right, let's try that. Say, just okay. See the light coming on and off. Control C. It could be because I've got a really sensitive. There we go. Take it off. Yeah. 
it's working because I can see the light coming on and off. Can you? you can see the light coming on and off, so it's working. All right. Play around with the sensitivity of it. Play around with the uh, sensitivity, and just until you get it working just right. That's what I'm going to be doing. Just just until I get it just right. Okay. Great. So, simple little module. Um, just wanted to cover it quickly um, and just show you um, the quick configuration of it. Really simple, all right? And it's the basics of our configurations, all right? It's the basics of our configurations. Well, thanks a lot. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you next time, next time, when we're going to be starting a new playlist or two new playlists, we're going to be looking at this. The Arduino. All right, this is the Arduino, the Uno um, Revision 3. That's what we're going to be looking at in the next video. All right, a quick introduction to it. And also another playlist where we're going to go right down to the basics of Python. Right back to the basics of Python. Do the individual modules, but we're going to be doing the schematics. We're going to be putting, putting the circuits together and we're going to be doing Python 3 code for that. Okay, so I look forward to you in the next video. And until then, please stay safe. 